Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. <coughs> In this video, we will try to learn about the lazy loading of the component or the routing page. So let us try to break down the lazy loading of the standalone components in the Angular 18 step by step. Let's first understand the core idea of this one. So I will open the notepad plus plus. So here the core idea of this one is the lazy loading, the first one. So here let me open this one. Yeah. So hopefully you are able to see. The lazy loading, the first one is the lazy loading is a technique that delays the loading of a module or a component until it is required. This improves initial load time by not loading all features of an application at once. And the next one is the standalone components. So how we can do it in the standalone components? Standalone components in Angular 18 can be loaded lazily like just like the modules were loaded in the past. With the introduction of the standalone components, Angular now supports lazy loading individual components which simplifies the architecture of the application. Let's try to see the uh, working example of this one, how we can configure the lazy loading. So normally we can create a component and all those things we can do it, that's normal process. So we can also create the, what I want to do it is, so the lazy loading thing and all those things also we can do it. So now if you want to load it the lazy loading, so let's go to the app.routes.ts file. For example, let's say that I want to lazy load this child a component, okay. So for example, or otherwise child B component, let's say. So child B component, if you if you want to lazy load it, then what you need to do it is, so here you need to use something like, like this. So you need to import, and here you need to provide, you need to provide the, uh, where it is, the lay, child B component, right? So here you can copy it, yeah. So this one we can copy it. Only we are able to get it yeah so child b component then what we need to do so we will get it dot then dot then so we will load we'll get the component and we need to load this component c dot child b component that's it so this is how we will be loading the and here we should not use the component we should use the load component okay when you are trying to use the lazy loading we need to use the load component so here so we have used the path as child b so this defines the url segment for the lazy loader and here we have used the load component this is the key feature for lazy loading standalone components it dynamically imports the component when the root is activated now if you try to see the output for this one so let me show the output for this one so here i am opening it now if i click on the child b you are able to see the child b is working fine without any problem now if you go to the console and in the network so if you go into the console into the network and here let's try to remove the node throttling yeah so in the js files and if i refresh so sorry if i refresh this page so i have refreshed this page let's try to see it and i want to load lazy load the child b now if i click on this one automatically chunk will be loaded on the fly so this is the chunk which is loaded so that means here we are loading the here loading the dynamically this So this is how we will be loading the lazy load component. So that means whenever that page is activated. Now when, when you go back to the child A and when you go back to the come to the child B, so you will be able to see child B work. Then again the JS will not be loaded. Why? Because already the JS has been loaded previously. Now if you try to see here, I will try to show you. When I refresh this page, so I will remove all the JS files. These all extensions and all those things. Now when I click on the child B, you will be able to see a chunk has been loaded. 304 means already it is there in the cache. Now. When I click on child A again and when, when I come back to the child B, so again this chunk will not be loaded, reloaded again. Why? Because already this JS has been loaded. So that is why this is not loading. So this is how the lazy load will be implemented in the implement, implement, implemented in the Angular 18. So we also have an another thing that is nothing but preloading of the lazy load components. So while lazy loading reduces the initial load time, it can lead to a delay when accessing the lazy load route for the first time. So this one is actually it is a small 18145 bytes so fine so this one is taking very less time to load it but if you are having a chunk which is so more means it will take some time to load for the first time so that it will cause some delay for loading the component. So in order to decrease this one angler allows preloading the lazy components. Add a preloading strategy. So we need to add a preloading strategy so where we need to add it is so let's go to the app.config.ts file in this one we need to provide 
here in these routes we need to provide preloading strategy pre loading it is this one sorry in the provide router so we need to use preload strategy so why it is not coming i don't know so here pre load strategy pre load strategy and here we need to use something like pre load all modules that's it so now strategy okay pre loading strategy it should be something like pre loading strategy sorry so we need to provide it like this so it is not showing why it is a problem so preloading thing is not working i will try to check in the next video so leave it for this one so this is how we will be loading the lazy loading the components thing so the now the next one which i want to know, tell you is so the lazy loading thing you understood what about the dynamic component loading so you may be understanding that uh, the dynamic component loading and also the lazy component loading is one and the same but it is not the same so for example let's say that you are having the app component.ts file so just i want to load in the app component.ts file the second component let's say that second component that means second component i want to load it so i will be trying to use the second component here uh, like comma second component so i will be loading it like this now if i want to use this component in our app component.html means automatically we will go here and we will be using the app iphone second so we have used it like this now if you try to see the output for this one so at the bottom you will be able to see the second works okay so the second component it is working now if i want to load this one dynamically so what can i do it so for example let's say that i will add a button load component okay load component and here for this one at the red click i will use load component so this is the method i will be using for this one and in our app.component.ts file i will use this method load sorry load component so this is the method which, which i will be trying to use it and here in our app component.html file so we need to select the placeholder so i will be using ng template and here i can use something like hash dynamic <coughs> container so this is the dynamic container where i want to place it so i have used it in the ng template so now we need to capture it using the view chain here so i will be capturing using at the rate view chain and here i can use something like the dynamic container sorry dynamic container which is the thing and here we need to read this one as a view container ref view container ref and if you want to make it as a static true that means it should be available in the ng on it only so we can use it like this and this is a container of type view container ref that's it so we have captured the container ref now what i want to do so first of all i made i need to make the container clear and i need to create the container uh, component in that container container dot create component sorry create component in that one and i can send the second component directly so we should make sure that that second component should be imported here now if you go here and if i click on this one second component automatically the second so here the component will be dynamically loaded without mentioning that second component uh, component uh, reference here so this is a, this is a different dynamic component loading and that one is a lazy component loading so this is how we will be implementing the lazy component implementation in angular 18 hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you